Hi guys! Join us this week as we're leaving our rental and moving into a friend's place to farm sit there for, for a few months with all the ups and downs of taking care of the animals, gardening and so on. Exciting news! <laughs> well done girl! Sweet babies! <laughs> Hi Adam! Hi! Oh. Hello, I'm Adam! I'm Adam! Snow. Snow? Yeah. Ice. Ice. It's ice. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Wow. Not good. Not good for you. Yeah, but for the duck. Hey Adam. Και δεν πως κάνει. Κάνει ακροβατικά. Hello, I'm Adam. I'm Adam. Hello. Hello. Get on me.
everyone. <laughs> Meet Sweetie. Well, he used to be Sweetie, but now he's not very sweet anymore. So, an update. We've come to this homestead and we've been house-sitting for about a, a week now. And we just have to take care of the goats. So, here you have Sweetie and Caramel. I don't know if you can see her. Who is pregnant and will have her babies uh, any day now. So that's very exciting. And then we also have to take care of a pig. Her name is Porkchop, I think. Hello! Yeah, it's not a very nice name, but I didn't choose it, so... And uh, it's been raining all day today, and that's really good because we've been without rain for a long time. Like uh, here in Portugal, it's meant to, it's meant to rain for three or four months in a row, and like during um, autumn and winter, and we didn't have that almost at all. So yeah, that's very good. And um, on rainy days, we don't take the goats out on pasture in the morning. We just bring them some food instead. So that's what I did. I brought them some olive branches and some straw and then some kale and some uh, grain as well. And that should keep them busy for the day. So I'll go back inside and check on Adam because he was soaking wet and he wanted to go inside and just um, do his activity book. So, yeah, see you soon. So, as I said before, we are at a friend's house, a house sitting here and taking care of the animals. Uh, so, there is a pig, two goats, a female and a male. The female is pregnant, she will give birth anytime soon and some pigeons, which I'm not sure what Andrew does with them, I think uh, he has them... Uh, he wants to breed them, I don't know if he wants to eat them or it's just a hobby. And then the plants, we need to be watering, I turn on the sprinklers in the morning and then in the evening I think it's the irrigation. So I need to do that twice a day and then water some plants with a hose. And it's really nice, but it's so much work. Um, to bring the goats to the pasture every day, bring some food for them if it's raining or in the evening they also bring them some food to snack on uh, take care of the animals Odin, my dog, was missing for a week and he was scheduled for a sterilization uh, while he was away so I brought the male cat instead I would sterilize the female anyway, so I sterilized both the cats and then Odin appeared, thankfully, and then I scheduled him for sterilization the next day. And so all the animals are sterilized now and they're relaxing, they're resting, they're healing inside the house mostly. The female cannot leave the house for a week, Odin um, leaves the house sometimes but um, there are neighbors nearby who, you know, don't really like a dog, um, uh, um, someone else's dog in their garden. So usually I take him for a walk on a leash Mommy. in the morning and at night. And yeah, that's it. If, if it's my cookie, if it's dad cookie. Aww, whose cookie is it? it is with a fanny yes. and a, a big Adam. Now that I am on a homestead, it's not mine, but I'm allowed to stay here for three months and take care of the place and use the land however I want to. I'm thinking to build a chicken tractor for broilers and start raising chickens for meat and then also build a little chicken tractor for layers, for laying chickens for us, just to have some eggs for us and also for the markets and also for the markets, the food I sell, all the eclairs and the cinnamon rolls and spinach pie and everything that contains eggs uh, can be from my chickens eventually. 
So that's the plan. March is a very, very busy month because Adam has his birthday, which is planned for the end of the month. And we're inviting a few friends, but I want to make everything myself, uh, savory and sweet items on the buffet. Sweet! And sweet. You like sweet, don't you? And his cake is going to be a PJ Masks cake, which he loves, he's addicted to. So I have the, his birthday at the end of the month. Happy! I have two markets coming up, um, back to back, second and third weekend of the month. And so I need to plan ahead a lot, make whatever I can and put in the freezer. And yeah, I will like get used to this homestead and, and house sitting here and taking care of everyone. So that's what's been going on. It's a lot, but we'll get through it and at the end of the three months I will have some more experience on homesteading and hopefully I will have my own land. I got the documents for the two farms I'm most interested in. So now it's a matter of the architect sending it to the council and hearing back from them within a month and then we'll decide from there and you know, sign the deed and all, hopefully. So yeah, Odin, do you want to say something to the camera? Look. Wow, he's clapping his hands. Yes. He had a fever, a uh, quite bad one, and then he, his throat is hurting and he has a cough and you are, you know, sneezing. One baby. Oh, he's very energetic in the morning though, and then in the evening he's very. Uh, weak and sad and uh, feeling really sick and that's when he get, gets worse. Uh, that's how it's been lately. I hope it's over. I hope today in the evening he will be fine. But we'll see. <laughs> Hi all, exciting news, we had a visit from someone who I'm asking to build the chicken, chicken tractor with and we were just showing him the farm animals, the pig and we the would farm. show him the, the goats. The goats. Adam actually went to show him the pig and while we were on our way there I heard the baby goat crying and I was like Caramel, do you want to eat the food? The phone? So, and I was like, that's a baby goat! Caramel probably gave birth already. So then we went to check out and I was like, oh, it's a pretty baby, very black, you know. And then the guy goes like, Oh, actually, there are two. There is also this brown one. And then he's like, oh, actually, there are three. But the one, the one seems like it's not going to make it. So then I rushed in into the house. I changed my clothes again to my farming <laughs> uniform. Carmel is very hungry. She's trying to eat my hand and the phone. So I rushed into the house to get the nipple I had bought at the farm store and a water bottle uh, that I could use to get some milk and a pot as well uh, from Karma, from the mom and what else? Also a towel <clears throat> and my camera of course and um, I had I had watched a YouTube video of someone I can list it down below saying that we should touch the baby goats or sheep the least possible um, because this way they will have our smell and then the mom will reject them but there is like this sweet spot where you should make the decision of you know taking care of the baby like nursing the baby or leaving it with his mom 
And sometimes when it's very cold, the babies are shivering and you're not supposed to really leave them very long. So I saw the baby shivering and I thought maybe I will put my towel on it, but then it would have a uh, different smell anyways. So yeah, I kind of had to wipe it out and see. I kind of, I, I tried to touch it uh, uh, as little as possible and just, and just uh, try to help it latch to get some um, milk from his mom. That was very angry at me. And so he seems okay now. Uh, he's a bit weaker than his brother and sister. I think there are two girls and one boy. So she seems a bit weaker. But I will return in half an hour and then an hour or so and then just keep checking in on her to make sure she will make it. And if not, I will nurse her. I will, um, yeah, keep her warm. And yeah, that's all. I will keep you updated. This here is little Hercules. Okay. Isn't he cute? He's the biggest one of all. He's really big and fluffy. And then Melina comes from honey in Greek. That's Meli. So that's Melina. It's also my niece's name. So I think it fits her well. She's so tiny but so strong and so active and and so cute. <laughs> Meet our fighter. She was born very weak and I did my best without touching her too much because the mom doesn't like that at first. And then I decided to call her Ayla. Ayla was a Greek Amazon. Uh, so yeah, it seems to me like a strong name which she deserves. And today she managed to latch on her own. She drank milk on her own without my help. So that's a huge step. She's walking, she seems more active, more energetic. So I'm really, really happy. And now that means that Carmel has three healthy babies. It's amazing. Strong goat. And she's my baby. Look at her. Carmel, I really think your babies are ready to go for a walk. What do you think? Hey, my daughter. <laughs> Free goats. Ah. What happened? It's good. It's good? This is our caravan parked here on our friend's land, where we were house-sitting, and yeah, soon we will be staying in there, I think, on our farm, hopefully. Isn't she pretty? Tiny, but pretty, and a little bit dirty. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday we came to change the pigeon's water and what did we find? Two, 
sorry. Odin is scaring the pigeons. Odin? That's not nice. So, look at this. Two tiny eggs. I think we will have baby pigeons soon if we're lucky. Aren't they pretty? They're so tiny and shiny. <laughs> Hi. Who is this? It's Nanina. Hi, Nanina. Is she cute? <laughs> wow, she's big, right? Yeah. <laughs> Every day she gets bigger and heavier. And then she's going to be like you. Yeah. Very big. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I love you. Hello. We came back from doing the shopping. And the weather today is uh, very weird. There is uh, sand coming from Africa and the heat also came from Africa. Look at the sun. Where is it? I think, yeah, it's there. <laughs> Super strange. And Caramel the goat, she found them. <laughs> Caramel the goat was looking for her goats, desperately calling. <laughs> And I was shocked because I could only see one out of the three and the two, who knows where they were because the goats were loose. So I was looking all around the property. I went for a walk with her so that, that she could yell, that they could listen and could come to her. And it turns out they were just taking a nap in the shed, in the little corner there. <laughs> We found them! Wow! <laughs>